Hello, I'm Graham Horn. I'm a Blue Badge tourist guide for the south of England, but I'm based here in Reading. And I love taking visitors around the town to show you the historical parts that are hidden amongst the modern town. We know of the three B's in Reading, the beer, the biscuits and the bulbs, but there are more, bricks and also the Bayer Tapestry and an abbey. And in two minutes, I can just show you some of those things. Let's talk about bricks. The key in Reading is to look up because you'll see wonderful examples of Reading patterned brickwork on many of the buildings in and around the town centre. There's a wonderful example just here, which is Reading Town Hall, and that was built in 1875. If you get the chance, do go into Reading Museum. Did you know that it contains the only full-sized replica of the Bayer Tapestry? Sutton Seeds had their headquarters in Reading in the 19th century. Indeed, their packing sheds and their headquarters building were in the square behind me. Although their operation is in Torquay these days, they are still remembered as one of the three B's. Another B is Biscuits. The Huntley and Palmer's factory in Reading was at one time the largest biscuit factory in the world. The River Kennet flows through the heart of the town here and this was the heart at one time of Simmons Brewery, founded in 1785, another one of Reading's bees. We're standing in the remains of Henry I's Reading Medieval Abbey, which was founded in 1121. At one time, it was one of the largest and richest abbeys in the whole country. In these COVID restricted times, I can take a group of up to five people, so a family or small group of friends, and I'm qualified under the government's We're Good To Go scheme, which gives you assurance that I will take all the necessary COVID precautions.